Good morning and welcome to the Ben Garvis Podcast, a daily show helping you center yourself on a fit and nutritious activist lifestyle through technology, psychology, philosophy, and education. My name is Ben Garvis and I am your host. You've probably seen or heard headlines over the past few weeks that the opioid abuse and overdoses in this country have exploded over the course of this quarantine. The story seems to echo across the country. In Illinois' Cook County, home to the city of Chicago, overdoses are on track to double from last year. In Wisconsin, health officials are reporting overdoses have jumped 117% since the pandemic started. Andrea Palm, the secretary of Wisconsin's Department of Health Services, says financial pressures and isolation can exacerbate behavioral and substance abuse problems. Not all researchers and experts agree that the quarantine is the sole cause of this increase. According to the Chicago Tribune, quote, Kathy Kane Willis, a drug policy researcher at the Chicago Urban League, said emergency response data shows overdoses started to rise sharply in November, long before the pandemic began, end quote. She says that the cause is a rise in increasingly dangerous synthetic drugs like fentanyl. She does agree that the pandemic has not helped. Along with additional stress, it's limited the availability of treatment and distribution of naloxone, a drug that reverses overdoses. Well, herein lies the rub. In July, NPR published a story titled Doctors and Dentists Still Flooding U.S. with Opioid Prescriptions. Dr. Jonathan Chen, a doctor and researcher at Stanford University Medical Center, told NPR that patients are receiving about twice the amount of narcotics that would be considered normal. Quote, We're 5% of the world's population, but we consume 80% of the world's prescription opioids. End quote. Researchers are pointing at doctors as enablers of the problem using narcotics as a cure-all for chronic pain and as a quick fix for issues that should be treated with a healthier lifestyle, things like physical therapy, nutrition, and exercise. Also a problem, dentists, just in case you needed another reason to floss. Thank you for listening to the podcast this morning. Please be sure to like, rate, review, subscribe, and share. It's free to you and it means the world to me. Thanks for listening and I will catch you tomorrow.